hello friends welcome to another exciting video on my youtube channel and in this video i will show you how you can create mask on an object using yolo v8 version and then apply uh, segment anything model from facebook to segment that object inside that image and then you know we will just do an add-on to you know uh, remove the background and make it white so this is the original uh, image by the way this is my son and it is in my house so this is the original image then this is the masked image you can see that uh, with the help of yolo v8 and segment anything model i have first identified the object and then i have created mask over the object and then uh, just doing some uh, image manipulation i have removed the background and you can see the clarity of the image as well so let's dive deep into this and let's look uh, how to implement the same thing i explained so here i am in my uh, colab notebook by the way the link of this colab notebook is in the description the first thing we need to do is we need to install ultralytics because we are going to use ultralytics yolo implementation then we need to uh, install segment anything and then we need to download the uh, segment anything vit h uh, uh, pytorch model so i'll run this meanwhile i'll show you github segment anything yeah so this is the official repository and uh, you can you know get all the knowledge that i have actually acquired from this repository it is very well explained so now yeah it is downloading the model and if we go to this file section we will see that the model is being downloaded meanwhile let me upload the original image here so that we can use it as well yeah now it is done so let's import few things ultralytics ultralytics uh, yolo then segment anything uh, model registry uh, mask generator and sam predictor uh, this is to display the images cv2 to read image numpy uh, to get some uh, matrix uh, matplotlib and this ultralytics check is uh, is is a kind of a sanity check to make sure you have enough uh, resources to run the uh, file the first thing we will do is that with the help of yolo we will predict on this original image so let me copy the path of that original image and let me provide it here okay so let's see that how it comes so it will create a run folder here and it will also create predict inside that and it uh, the prediction will be there in the image so yeah you can see that results save to runs uh, dot detect uh, runs hyphen detect hyphen predict so let me refresh this yeah it is there so run detect predict and this is the image that um, yolo has predicted so let's look into the image so i'll use this uh, uh, ipy widget to display the image yeah so you can see that it has fairly accurately identified the object now what we will do is that with the help of uh, uh, mask generator we will generate mask on this object for that let me first get the result and we need to find the bounding boxes around the object so for that oh sorry uh, my bad it is original yeah so we have results let's see the result since there is uh, one object and it will be at the 0th location 
so we will take that we will take that and uh, we will create the boxes so this is the boxes okay uh, now what we will do is that we will create a uh, sam predictor model and so we will provide the path so this is the model and model type is vit h which is this part there are a uh, few models uh, if i model checkpoints yeah so there are few models uh, in case you want to use this uh, vit hyphen l i'm not sure it stands for large or not uh, then you need to provide this string as a model uh, type if you use this then you provide vit hyphen uh, underscore b so i'm using vit underscore h so i'm providing that as a model type and we will need to create a predictor so i'll create the predictor yeah it can take some time next we will read the image original image okay and we will set the image to the predictor so the way it works that you need to first create a predictor once the predictor is created you set the original image and then provide the points uh, bounding box so that uh, the predictor dot predict method will take that boxes and try to create a mask okay so yeah the model is now predictor is created now i'll read the image and set the image to the predictor so as i was saying that when you set the image so the first step is to set the image next predictor predict method will use the set already set image and the bounding boxes to generate the mask okay and with that mask uh, we can uh, as you can see in the previous uh, trial run uh, i have created this mask so this predictor dot set image uh, can take a while so let me come back once it finishes okay so you can see that uh, that process of setting the image ran successfully uh, here are a few functions that we are going to use uh, just uh, to help us uh, so mask uh, so points and so box so let me run that now what we will do is that we will convert the bounding box into uh, np array cause predictor dot predict requires that as i said we have set the image now when we use predictor dot predict and provide the bounding box it will generate mask so let me run that yeah you can see that so uh this was yeah this was our original image we first applied yolo to identify the object then with the help of uh, segment anything we provided the bounding box and the sam model has identified the object and created almost accurate mask now what we can do is that uh, we can Uh, just remove the background just make all the pixels outside of this object white and we can do that so we have done that so except the mask uh, make all the point uh, white and so this is uh, this is uh, one one shell code for the same procedure you just provide the image path here and you will get the final results here okay so i hope uh, this is uh, this is informative to you and you can leverage the knowledge from this video into your task so again i'll i'll summarize first we predict the object using yolo 
once you predict the object then uh, we create the bounding boxes and i have used uh, this zero cause I'm, I'm using only one object but in case you have multiple object you can select which object you want to choose and then uh, create the same predictor model and set the image original image as the image and then use predictor dot predict and provide the bounding box make sure you use np array and it will generate mask over the bounding box it will generate uh, mask over the uh, object inside the bounding box and finally we can you know uh, manipulate uh, the image uh, so that except the point inside mask stays same otherwise the point will be white so i hope uh, you have gained some knowledge again and if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace